Hi. Hi, Buzz. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Yeah. Do you want me to roll this on your face? Does that feel so oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. You can roll that on your face. Doesn't that feel so good? Yeah, you like that. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I wanna share with you right now my makeup must-haves. So this is kind of like, if I had to narrow it down, if you could see my bathroom, it's shocking. It's like a department store. But if I had to narrow it down to a few must-haves, these are must-haves. So let me start with the Becca Luminous Concealer. I've used every single concealer, and this concealer This concealer is everything. I love it. It's light enough, so if you're going to do a really simple, everyday, kind of dewy look, this helps cover up really dark circles. And so this helps cover them up without looking cakey. And then if you have a, like right now, have a full face of makeup on, you can also layer it. And then you just stipple it in with your beauty blender. And this is beautiful. So this is one of my favorite concealers. Sometimes what I will do is I will use, this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So I'll also do a video on how to apply these products, but I just want you to know my makeup must-haves. So I'll use a little bit of this Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So this will actually correct the dark circles under your eyes, and I'm all about having bright under eyes. And you can see right here when I put it on, the back of my hand it's just a brightening corrector and then I'll put the luminous glow on top of that and stipple it in and it's gorgeous it just really brightens and awakens your face so that is my favorite um, under eye concealer this is something I've used for years I mean I have tried every single product and even back when I was modeling you know when I, yeah when I was living in LA traveling between LA and New York. This was my go-to, always had this. It's a little bit more expensive, but worth every penny in my opinion. It is the Clou de Peau um, Beauty Concealer, and it's in the color Okra, O-C-H-E-R. And you can use this for under your eyes if you want. I have some little scarring from cystic acne and just, you know, pigmentation from pregnancies. So I'll use that to cover up. And then I'll also use my go-to brush. This is the MAC 133 brush. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite brush. But you'll notice in all of my tutorials and all of my videos, I always, always, always use this product. And I'll just go, I'll, you know, I dipped the product in. And I always, right here, around my nose, because it kind of makes it appear like you have a smaller nose. So I won't go get into all of this, but and right on your chin because we tend to get red, but it's beautiful. So that is one of my favorite go-to concealers. I believe that every woman, if you don't have fake lashes on, which we don't wear fake lashes all the time, or if you don't have the lash extensions, or some women are blessed where you're like, wow, are those your real lashes? That's not mine. Mine are like, they're, they're short and they're like point down. So I use the Shiseido eyelash curler. I believe that every woman needs an eyelash curler. So there's that. Now I've tried a lot of different brow products. I do love a lot of brow products, but my handy go-to is the 263 MAC brush. You can see it's a little angle. And then I use the good old Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown from Anastasia. And that is how I create the perfect brow. This, these are, I use this every day for a really intense, beautiful sculpted brow or just, you know, filling it in a little bit for a natural look. So I love the, for the, um, Hello, Candice, get it together. For highlight, one of my favorites. Two, actually, of my favorites. One is the Laura Geller. It is called Gilded Honey. That is a great highlight. I've used that, and it's not super duper expensive. And it just has a little bit of gold, but it looks super natural. It doesn't look cakey. So this is a beautiful one. One that I have grown fond of is the Fenty by Rihanna, the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in the color Kilowatt. It's Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And let me just show you this. I don't know if you can see this product here. It's well used, as you can see. And uh, this is a great highlighter to use. My, okay, everyone always says, 
Candace, your skin is so glowy. I think that that comes from a, a lot of different, I mean, I think that comes from taking care of your skin, being intentional about taking care of your skin. I think it comes from drinking enough water. Hello, you, can, you need to drink your water. I think it comes from taking great supplementation. I love my AdvoCare hair and skin um, supplement. That is something that I will never miss, my omegas, probiotics. And then to top it off, I use the MAC strobe cream. Always, 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 always. So I'll put my moisturizer on. Can you even see that? I don't know. But I'll use my MAC strobe cream, and it gives you this gourd. Like, when you put it on, it's just so delicious when you put it on your skin, and it gives you this really beautiful, luminescent glow. So even if all I'm doing is this with a little, little concealer around my nose and then the Becca under eye concealer, it's beautiful. And you just look like you're glowing from within. So that is another one of my favorite products. And then to top it off, the Kat Von D um, Contour Palette. I have it in shade light. It's the light contour palette. And I will do a tutorial on how to actually use this. I don't know if I can open it. But as you can see, this is obviously well used as well. And uh, I really really love this for setting my makeup like I'll use the banana shade right um, let me see let's see if you can see this I use the banana shade right here and I will even use that to set under my eyes after I put my Becca concealer on like right there and it's just beautiful I'll take it down the side of your nose so this is a great, great contour palette. And, oh, here's one of the Sonia Kashuk brushes that I also love to be able to set my makeup in. So I hope that helps you. And thank you for watching this. If there is anything else that you would like to see, please let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up.